very important announcement. A very important announcement she's going to make for us. Thank you very much. I appreciate coming back to the show again. I just wanted to let all my readers and all my fans know that this this wonderful little bit of announcement I have is just one of the most enlightening things I think I have done in many, many years. As we all know, I'm with Les, and I believe that has to be no more. I cannot stand it any longer being in the shadow of the limelight. I appreciate doing all the commentary. I really do. I appreciate being on the show. However, I have one book out, and I have already begun my second one. All right. Now, with the ineffectual mail, understand that was just absolutely groundbreaking for all the reasons it needed to and be. And it became a national bestseller. Yes. Now, I, I want all of my readers to know that I haven't forgot them. I haven't forgotten me. And so, whenever I tell you, you should read The Effect of the Infectual Mail, I believe that you uh, will be quite surprised. I am just absolutely to a point to where I don't know what I was thinking. Now here I sit, second banana to a man on a talk show, and I want my own. I want my own. And uh, he won't let me have it unless I'm gone, or going along with him. With the ineffectual mail and its best-selling status, and how it took over the nation, and it's in, you know, it's in, I believe, 14 different languages yes, as well. Yes, And, well, I want you all to stay tuned for the effect of the ineffectual mail. The sequel. Imogene, what are your immediate plans after the divorce from Les Tomac? Well, if he would ever check the mailbox instead of relying on the help, then he would already see the papers he needs to sign. However, my immediate plans, I already have booked myself a solitary cruise to somewhere that he don't even know that exists, so I can go ahead and reflect upon myself and my life in the past few years, so I can get everything right for the book book to help others understand that even though they may be an ineffectual male, they can affect you quite much. They affect how you do things, affect how you change things. However, now I understand. I understand that there's gonna be big change within myself to blow back up to where I used to be because you don't need that man, because you don't need that man at all. Because the effect is absolutely not worth the going, I swear. Hand to God. Do you have plans, Imogene, to have your own talk show, perhaps even here yes. on CRZY? Yes. Yes, I have already spoken with some of the producers that are working behind the scenes, and they are excited and cannot wait to have Imogene's own personal, at least, I don't know, I don't know about the time limit, perhaps an hour show, who knows, but they're already working on it, and I think it's just going to absolutely blow everybody out the water and get them used to getting a nice little suntan so they can bask in my glory a little bit. But I'm excited about it. It's sad for what has to happen for things to progress. However, some things are necessary. With all good things, there comes a price, and this must be the price that is paid. And that is okay. I'm willing to pay it because it, the price to stay is just more, it's just more than what I would have to pay. Imogene, inquiring minds and viewers want to know: Is there another man, another love in your life, or are, are you have you had it with men for the time being? Well. Relationship-wise, understandably, um, no. <laughs> However, I do appreciate my single status, and um, it doesn't really matter uh, who I might call, you know, gentlemen callers and the like. I do believe that I will do what I want, and that's going to be exactly what I need to do. And once again, I get to go off all by myself to where nobody gets to know where. But as for anyone significant, no. <laughs> I am significantly my other. <laughs> and that is the way it needs to be for me for quite some time. Others, I don't want anyone to lose hope, but I just don't think there's another man that's for me for a while. He's going to have to step his game up and be just fine with me being a sparkling little diamond. <laughs> well, Imogene, have you chosen a title for your upcoming new book that's coming out? Yes. The Effect of the Ineffectual Male. I mean, I, it's... It's absolutely going to be a fantastic read. It's going to itemize and just absolutely illustrate and illuminate everything that you need to know that you can have happen. I do think that it will be just earth shattering with how the change, you know, just detailing the changes that can occur. 
because even though the man, even though the male can be very ineffectual, <laughs> very unnecessary, <laughs> they can have an effect. And so it's just important to note what effect they can have and decide whether or not you're going to go that route and pay that price. If that's what you're willing to invest in, because you will be investing in it. All things are currency, including love and including your heart. And so you must you must invest wisely. And so if you do not do so, well then, then you're probably absolutely not gonna, you know, have any kind of return. <laughs> Imogene, do you have any plans to write a book about your marriage to less? I believe there's going to be quite a few chapters. It might be, it might be um, it, within this one book because, I mean, from what else can I do? Can I derive any kind of inspiration from than my own experiences with, you know, of all the effects of an ineffectual male? If he's going to sit there, sit there and be an absolute star and just cast me to the side as a little prop and maybe not even trophy status, well then, I need to let y'all know how that worked. <laughs> and I just, I have, I have a really good feeling about it. I really do, and I'm extremely excited to finish this in my, in my you know, um, semi-repose, you know, my respite, away from, you know, away from the mess, and away from all the backlash that I'm pretty sure is going to ensue, because I understand some people are going to be very upset, but my biggest thing is just to, sell, just to tell everyone not to worry, and not to be as upset as they are at the moment, to get over it soon, because there's because there's no point in hanging on the sadness of this because only good things will come out of this. Millions of women nationwide are your fans, uh, fans of course, and, and, and many uh, many men as well. Les has his fans, so I'm sure there'll be some sort of a divide, but, but I feel like you're going to make it through and come out in shining colors with this. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I really hope so. I hope this causes no divide between our fandoms. I truly don't. I truly don't want any split. No one should argue and bitter back and forth. You can still be Les's fan and still be mine as well. Because, I mean, it was both of us at once. Even though you may not have heard me very often. But still, I may not have got any kind of recognition I feel I deserve. 